So that Pastor Ray could be on Facebook? No. Because we want you, if you miss it, we want to remind you this is what you missed. Go to the app, review the message, and let it speak to you. I'm not saying all of us will be here every Sunday. We all, we all think, I hope we will, but that's the case. But let's be accounted for, River Faith Church. Are you with me? Let's be accounted for. If I send an email, read it. Don't just know when you see it. Oh, right hand to the front end. Jump. <laughs> Here's one time. I'm going to send an email and say, you decide to say that I'm resigning. I'll see if anybody's reading it. That would be sad if I send an email this week and I said, sorry, River Church, I'll be stepping down. And then the whole week, I don't hear anything. It's either I think my church got raptured, I got left behind, or you don't really care. River Faith Church this week with that. This is part of our vision this year. We're doing all of this to keep everyone engaged in the church. So you will not think of the church just only on a Sunday, but on a Monday, on a Tuesday. When you go to your Facebook, when you go to your Instagram, something that will remind you, keep praying for our church, keep doing this, we have this thing going on. Because accountability is crucial for God. Close with this. How can we sum up all of this? Look what it says here. Accountability, the definition of it is this. An obligation or willingness to accept responsibility for one's action. How well are we going to take it when we are accountable? Let's pray again. Lord God, we thank you, God, for this morning. Teach us in the church, Lord God, to follow you. And to follow you fiercely, Lord God. We are a family here in the church, but also we are a body. And no part of the body is greater than the other. It's just given different roles and different tasks. But I pray, Lord, as we grow old together, Lord, we pray that we will also mature together. We pray, Lord, that this year will be a year that we will come together, Lord, and live out what we preach, practice what we read, and put to life what we believe. Because at the end of the day, Lord, you did not intend the church to be, to be with one person. You intended to be with many people. Coming together. Having the same weaknesses. Having the same strengths. Having the same problems and struggles. So that we can look at each other and see that we are wearing the same uniform. That we are one spirit and we are one in the Lord, and we are one in the baptism that we receive. Help our church, Lord God, to be accounted for this year. Help us this year, Lord God, to, to reach our goal and to, to, to get the vision they give given us, God. Lastly, Lord, allow mentorship in this church. Give us a heart of a mentor and give us a heart of a student. A heart that is willing to take instructions a heart that is that is willing to take rebuke when it's necessary the heart that is disciplined a heart that is sold out Lord bless our time this morning we cannot thank you enough for allowing us to be here Father we, keep, we lift up everything to you we give everything to you Father as we pray we ask this in Jesus mighty name and everybody says Give a mic up for you. Let's all stand up. We'll sing the final song. And before